He has very soft, very fine hair um, that breaks really easy. So it's going to be easy to scissor. Um, it's really tempting to scissor this stuff short until you get to the thicker hair. But if you keep doing that on this dog, he's going to have no hair left. So you just kind of got to go with what you got. So I'm just going to trim around his foot, following the shape of his little toes here. And I'm being careful to just go around the outside of the edge of the foot. It's really tempting to want to go across the foot like this, but what I found is that it's easy to scrape a, a pad or if the dog accidentally flinches or kicks, it's really easy to cut the dog that way. So I've made it a habit just to kind of stick to the perimeter of the foot to minimize my chance of cutting dogs. Because I've done it, and it's not any fun for either of us. Just accidents happen, but if you can avoid them, you should. So now that I've trimmed his paw pad here, we're just going to set his foot down and just follow all the way around with him standing on it. And you can see it's just very kind of wispy. So I'm just going to take off the edges, neaten it up, and just keep going all the way around here. I'm going to do the same thing to the inside of the leg. I'm lifting his opposite leg, and I'm doing the exact same thing to the inside of the foot I just did to the outside combing it all down and neatening it up so it doesn't drag the table. And now I'm just going to go ahead and neaten up my scissoring here on this fluffy little leg here. And sometimes too you'll notice little spots that you missed and you want to go back and nip those real quick and that's perfectly fine. <laughs> 